Cool. I finally. I know. Finally. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like years. I think it has. It's just time before. Remember the last, uh, the first time I watched the Mysterines perform was in the Magnet. Was that the first time? I think so. Yeah. That's so mad, isn't it? Yeah. Was that? Who was that with? Ah, oh, I couldn't even tell you. I the can't even up. remember now. I just remember that you. Or was it the Big Moon? Oh my yeah, god, yeah, that's so mad. Right? Wow. That was a while ago. That was a while Very ago. Very long time yeah. ago. Mag's not even open anymore, is it? No. Well, I've got, there's a, I've got like a video clip of you three. Dude. Uh, oh my god. I think you were saying, is the, I think this is our first official interview, like your very first one. <laughs> I think it was, you know. Yeah. To be fair, we actually haven't <laughs> ever done an interview since then as well. That, I think that might just be our first and yeah. only interview we've done as like, Three of us, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I yeah. know that's a uh, I'm keeping that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah, thank you, the Mr. Reans lead singer. No worries. Me. Yeah. I know the last say 48 hours have probably been a bit all up in the air, whirlwinds. Yeah, so, yeah. Redden definitely. and Leeds. Yeah. Redline and BBC introducing stage. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was boss. <laughs> Seems like such like a like a milestone in your career that I think. And it kinda just came about like Randomly, it wasn't like planned oh. the whole year at all. We just got a call and we were just like, oh, do you want to headline it? And we were just like, yeah. But yeah, no, but When great. you talk about milestones, you have been touring non stop. Yeah. It's Even been... like the downtime, like the January, February, you guys are still out touring. Yeah. Like Mars Kane, that was like a huge, huge tour that you did. Yeah, with. that was our first one ever yeah. as well. I think we did that, was that last summer and that lasted for about three months on and off yeah. and then we had the psychedelic porn crumpets one in January February yeah which just kind of like just went straight into that and then Royal Blood one recently I lose track it's just like so. non-stop for me I'm just like wake up one morning the van's in the front like guards and you have to just get in <laughs> go somewhere and you're like oh who are we with today it's one of them though you know what I mean Royal Blood yeah it's great such lovely lads as well. Such yeah. lovely lads. Did you get to speak to them and all that as well? Yeah. yeah, they were really like welcoming with us and you know let us like use utilize their crew and equipment and they were just lovely lads. Yeah. Really good yeah. tour. I was I was made up. You know, you're seeing, it seems like you're just ticking them all off at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. boss. I'm enjoying it. It's tiring, but I am enjoying it. Like, are you able to? Are you writing songs in between touring or how is that coming about for you? Yeah, it it's kind of one of them. It's like. We have a few weeks off and like when we have like a few weeks off we'll often just go to like the practice room. Yeah. I've kind of got like a massive back catalogue anyway luckily when we weren't touring when we were like younger. Um, yeah. Sometimes the songs are just awful. Sometimes I like there's something there like substance wise yeah. and you can just kind of you know work on them again now. Um, yeah but like in between tours I'll, I'll just go into the practice room and kind of write as much as I can really before the next like mm. wave of dates and hopefully sometimes we even put a new tune in the set and stuff hopefully sometimes it doesn't really work out but well hopefully well I'd take control i was gonna say that's a uh, yeah it's working all right at the moment yeah that yeah. was a while ago with that luckily like i don't think like it's kind of one of them when you're touring especially with heavier bands like you kind of want to write you, you watch like it live and it, oh i want to write a tune like that so you go away and write it and kind of stuff like take control and the more like um, melodic, like poppy stuff, kind of wrote before you were touring with a lot of heavy bands. So, mm. kind of that back so catalog, kind of. Yeah. You had that one for a while then. Yeah, it was. I think I was 16 when I first started writing it, and I just didn't really do anything with it. To be fair, it was yeah. just kind of like one of them. I just kind of went round and round. Some songs take like that. So some of them are like dead fast. Some of them are really, you know, you got to put a bit more 
thought into the process of it. Yeah. That was kind of one of them, I suppose. But I'm glad it's out now. It seems like a long, yeah. long time. It's interesting coming. that you say that about having songs. Some people revisit. I've spoke to a few singers lately that talk about they might have had a chorus written for even two or three years ago. Yeah. And then it isn't until maybe they've experienced something or. Yeah, something's happened in the life where they go, okay, I can make sense of it now. And yeah, put words yeah, to it definitely. And finish it off. Yeah, sometimes I, f I find as well, it's kind of like a reflection in a way when you're writing. You don't really, at a time when you're writing it, it's not like oh, I've sat down and I've got this experience and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna write about that. It's kind of like just like subconsciously comes out and then a few months time when you kind of over that experience or. You know, you've kind of wrapped your head around it, you look back and then you read the lyrics of like something like Take Control and you're like, oh, shit, yeah. that's what it was about, you know what I mean? It's kind of one of them, it's yeah. weird. I've yeah. always said, you've always, the way your relationship is with lyrics, because I've spoke to you before and you've talked about like, like influencers, you say like mm -hmm. you listen to like Miles Davis, like Patti Smith, all yeah. different people who are very, they're very like, almost discreet with the artistry but when you break down the lyrics you listen there's a lot more depth to what's going yeah, on yeah definitely are they people who you may have listened to when you were younger or who yeah. influenced or i think it i think it's more like my dad my dad was a songwriter so when i was growing up it was the music we kind of listened to was very either melodically based or lyrically based it wasn't really ever like kind of guitar it yeah. was guitar music but it wasn't like impressive solos and stuff i didn't really get onto that until now you know what I mean a bit older but yeah I think I think I just kind of enjoy like um, kind of breaking down the craft of what someone's uh, made you know what I mean yeah. like sort of I think um, Patti Smith's a really good example yeah. for example like people who are almost like poets and kind of go into music after yeah. or something I kind of like went that way myself but I was a lot younger I wouldn't like consider myself a poet anyway because I was about six but I used to love like creative writing and then I kind of just started music off the back of that really mm. so I think I think if you start as a writer first naturally you go towards people who also do that sort of similar thing yeah. what does your dad think is your dad someone who you, would you go to your dad for advice over songwriting or anything that you may have written or yeah it's, it's weird with me and my dad but kind of like different writers we both appreciate what we what each other do. Um, he kind of tries to not get involved too much, so I think he kind of just wants me to learn the ropes. Yeah, that's on cool. my own, really. Um, but like in the past, I've been like, do you reckon this makes sense yeah. or whatever? You know what I mean? It's uh, it's good having someone who understands um, like the depth of which you can go with words and stuff yeah. to, to be able to like just. Use a, yeah, Joe's an act of resistance. Yeah. It's great. One of the best albums I've heard in a long time. Yeah, definitely. And From just a rock punk like that, that little pocket, just absolutely beyond beyond it. Yeah, like definitely. One of the best bands I've seen. Yeah, I wish I yeah. could see them live. Mm. It'd be great to see them live. That Glasto set though was and just... That's what I mean, it just was full so of emotion good. because yeah. you don't fit to the whatever... They, they, they're not, they're not trying to, to be cool. All that. Yeah, they're not yeah. trying to be anything like they're that. Just trying to, they're just doing what their thing, yeah. and like you can, you can really see like the gratitude behind what they do. Is that it's just so like. And the, it just shows you that the music really is important to them. Yeah, definitely. They spoke. They said they were. They made that album. I think it was halfway through, and then they would just scrapped it. They said no, it's not fitting with us. It's not mm -hmm. working. A lot of bands, it's so easy to just say, no, we'll just get it out there, we'll just finish it and just put it out. Yeah, it because is. Because whether money comes into it or it gets to a point where you don't have it yeah. to start again. Yeah, you don't exactly. have that energy to give again. So, yeah, yeah it's so, it's all pop that's, students that's what's for so doing this. Yeah. Always get the album and go, even though it's so like punky and it's loud and it's aggressive, you go, it's quite personal, it's quite yeah, vulnerable. It is. Yeah, that's one of them. Vulnerable. Really if you take it apart you're yeah, like wow like it's, it's not it's not more depth to it than just you know mm. like average punk music in yeah. a way it's very like it is very emotional and his messages are great mm. especially everything he does for men's mental health as well I yeah. really I think that's really admiring as well when you just said about the poetry it is poetry yeah it is because you were watching a few interviews and he spoke about just being a, I was a poet I don't know if you. I don't know if you found that yourself. If that's creative writing, are you someone who just 
Yeah. And you're just writing stuff down. You don't really necessarily put it and think, oh yeah, that can fit in a song, but you'll just might write yeah, how yeah. you feel at that present moment in time. Yeah. And it definitely. might be something that could yeah. evolve into a song or mm -hmm. something like that. My notes page is just like full of like one yeah. line. Like sometimes it'll just like come to you like just it's really hard to I think summarise how you feel if someone's asking you. Or if you, you, you're sitting down going, how do I feel? Yeah. Sometimes it just you just like, oh, it just comes here in one day or like a sentence will happen or whatever and you just kind of have to go, oh, I'll write that one down. And you come back to it and go, that that would be a good like hook line or whatever, yeah. Are you into fashion much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish I had the money for it, but <laughs> no, I, do, I do love fashion. George loves it as well. Yeah. Yeah, George loves his fashion. Are you always like looking at things like, what can we wear maybe as a band or is it just you? You're just like, no, I'm just into this. Like, I do, I, I like looking at, um, especially like, mo like modern artists at the moment, kind mm. of seeing like the trajectory of, of like, pop music nowadays with like Billie Eilish for example and, mm. and the, the, the expression of free clothes as well I think it really I think it matters a lot and I think you can really put it in your own control when you get to that level anyway and kind of like use it to as an just another like platform almost or yeah. a form of communication of like how you feel about something definitely yeah. well I've watched Young Blood. I was only saying that because I've seen Harry Star he followed you online yeah and like, when I spoke to him he was the same he was just all about doesn't really, he, he loves using colours to express himself, mm -hmm. whether that's black or pink. Yeah, he, li and he I loves thought pink, that was interesting. He? I was like, he said, yeah, man, I can just wear whatever I want. <laughs> colours, yeah. so it, you, don't you don't have to register a colour to a gender. It can no, be whatever yeah. you want, Definitely. however it makes you feel. Yeah. And you are seeing that more in like, bands, like rock music. You're seeing the infusion of fashion more. It's like it's coming back round again. Yeah, it's more of like, a, I think, Nowadays as well, like sort of how like Bowie was back in the day and like Iggy Pop, it's, yeah. it's kind of making a comeback, isn't it's it? It's like more of, no, this is what we feel we yeah. want to wear as opposed to, like, I don't know, a stylist to saying you're going to look good in yeah, this. Yeah, it's That's a form of I, like rebellion in yeah. a way. You can, you can use it to, mm. like even the colours thing that Youngblood said, it's almost like, um, yeah, it's just like a form of expression mm. and taking back or you know utilizing it in a way where it wouldn't be so um what's the word where it's like can i don't know you know where it's like not social standards yeah like, i seen he was where i think he wore a dress actually at um riding in leeds yeah. did you get to meet him did no you? but i did see him he must have seen you perform or something I, I have no idea i see i seen him we went into like the guest area and he was with Machine Gun Kelly, and I know yeah. that um, the Amazons when we played with them. Yeah. Um, so I've seen the lads from Amazons, and I just kind of walked past them because I was going to get food. Yeah. <laughs> and I clocked him, and I was like, oh, I'm sure that was Young Blood, but that's the only thing, the yeah. only interaction. I don't think he even see me. Yeah. I just thought, oh, that's Young Blood. And then he followed me, and I was like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I respected it. I was like, yeah. wow, you know, like someone of that platform to be following someone like us. We haven't really, you know, not nowhere near as big as Young yeah. Blood, but. I did respect it because. Well, you're all doing your same. You're all doing your own thing. I think even then, that's just an interaction. People just see you as you are. You know what I mean? Yeah. Love the music that you're making yeah. doesn't matter how um, yeah. people are looking at you on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just definitely. genuinely just seeing you as an artist and like yeah, yeah like what you're doing. Mm -hmm. mm. I hate social media. Yeah. I can't do yeah. it at all. Well, that's when news <laughs> began. Yeah. The fact you generated so much buzz just off not putting anything out there. It was more frustrating. I'm yeah. not even kidding me. It was more frustrating to try and find like something of you. It ended, you ended up become like <laughs> yeah. a stalker. And it's like, wait there. Yeah, yeah. It was just the fact that you didn't have anything out there, but yeah. so many people were talking about mm -hmm. like, the band in the city. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd never ever, that was something I wasn't used to. You did yeah. a song or someone mentioned a band and mm -hmm. you'd find it out on uh, online, like yeah. that easy. And now so we've was, gone the opposite way. Yeah. But was that always the intention when you were first starting? Yeah, it was definitely. Like, right, let's just see what we can do. Yeah, right. just more of a fact of as well, we were so young and we didn't want to jeopardise anything. Yeah. Um, we didn't want to like put anything out there too soon as well and you yeah. know, it can become really complicated when you, you know, um, involve social media and stuff yeah. so yeah it was it was intentional at first and then yeah. I think it's like inevitable really you kind of have to bring it bring yeah. it in don't you mm -hmm. but 
I am really bad at it as well, which is quite funny. I find it funny that I can't post things on time. <laughs> I can't really do anything on time, really. I might go the opposite way again. I might just delete it all. I would go off grid, and everyone's like, oh, what happened to that yeah. band? <laughs> well, what's coming now? Is it like EP now, or...? Uh, we've got Skeleton Ghost on Saturday. Yeah, okay. And then we've got new, another single coming out in, um, just before the Seagulls tour. All right. Okay, yeah, okay, so, okay. yeah, that'll be exciting. I apologize about the noise, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, single coming out, no, uh, just before the Seagulls tour. Yeah. Do the tour. Then I think we're playing here in December. Two nights, maybe, if one sells out. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that should be right. that should be good. I haven't asked you that, by the way. I know, yeah. It's just so weird. Yeah, 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 you're not meant to say that. I'm not like, <laughs> no one's going to like come after me. No. <laughs> I don't, to be fair, I just live with everything. I like blurt all this information out, and then everyone's like, oh, no, yeah. she's told everyone. No, yeah. I'll just, that is what's happening. Well, so. I always thought that you already had an EP out for some reason. Yeah. I don't know if it's because I've heard so much of your music. You've released quite mm -hmm. a lot of music. I, I think we have one on CD when we were like younger. Yeah. But um, the one with like Homer and Take Control on, that's kind of our yeah. first yeah. finished EP yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know what's nice to see as well online, like the comments online. Usually sometimes they're a bit like, oh, dude. but everyone yeah. online is like buzzing to hear more music. Yeah, Even yeah. with Take Control, they've seen people just saying, oh yeah, so one's like, when yeah, are we gonna yeah. get some more music? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, is that like more pressure or is it like, oh Jesus, is it like- It's encouraging, definitely. Yeah. And um, you know, especially, I, I buzz off it when I see young girls as well, like yeah. buzzing off it because it means a lot, not a lot more to me. I don't want to like disregard like mm. male, yeah. male fans or whatever, <laughs> but I just, it, I think just cause I'm always surrounded by boys on tour and stuff yeah. and you know, it's just it's just really great to see like young girls liking it. So I've got a little sister as well and I just hope like one day, you know, they kind of like get to a place where they can feel it, can express themselves, whether it's music or whatever, you know what I mean? Just have like a voice in some way and it does mean a lot to me when I see younger fans liking it. Oh well, that's beautiful because it yeah. is it is important as well, yeah. Yeah. So putting like too much of a don't wanna put a label on it, bro. I do feel you you are inspiring the next ones coming up at the yeah, moment, I hope and they're coming so. up quick. Yeah, they're coming yeah. up quick. They the are. people want to be singer songwriters. The people want to be mm -hmm. uh, front men, front women. You know, yeah. it's, it's good to be seeing now more and more bands. Yeah, definitely. With more of a, there's like I don't know. There's just a different feel to music at the minute, and yeah. I think it's been missing. It's been missing. It I think has, we've, I yeah. think we're done with all the the manufactured like all mm -hmm. that thing. Yeah, uh, definitely. I think now it's more about making real music coming from real mm -hmm. parts of the country and like people just saying how yeah. it is. It's a lot more uh, channeling yeah. inner uh, stuff now, I think, thanks. definitely. Well, yeah, yeah, thank you very much cool. for speaking to me. No worries. Yes. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you.